Dear fellow nations of this world, on behalf of the Republic of Cyprus, it is my pl pleasure to address you today on this 73rd World Health Assembly and to express our gratitude to the World Health Organization for showing in its global leadership in these unprecedented times. Cyprus aligns itself with the EU statement delivered by Croatia on behalf of the EU and its member states. Furthermore, we are grateful for the leadership role of the Director General and the World Health Organization. Today, we are united in a common goal of fighting this invisible, ruthless enemy of the COVID-19 pandemic, limiting its devastating impact on global health, economies and social order. Today is an opportunity to stand back and take stock of what we have achieved so far, what lessons are there to be learned, and what we need to do in the future to win this war against COVID-19. From the outset of the pandemic, Cyprus has closely followed recommendations from WHO, so since March 9th, when the first two imported cases of COVID-19 were identified, as of today, 913 total cases have been reported. In the last weeks, the curve is finally flattening. Cyprus has one of the highest uses of diagnostic testing with more than 8,000 per 100,000 people. Our policy is to test early, contact tracing and isolate. Our success is dealing so far, in this, so far with this pandemic is based on the following. First of all, there is strong political commitment to take robust and proactive measures in line with WHO guidance to protect citizens from the spread of COVID-19. As of February, we took measures at our entry points, monitoring passengers according to their country of origin. We implemented social distancing measures and actively educated our health professionals and the public as well. We declared a state of emergency on the 15th of March and allocated 100 million euros emergency fund for strengthening our health care. At the same time, we imposed strict lockdown measures that restricted the movement of people. Great emphasis throughout this period was placed in the rapid identification of new cases through early testing and active contract tracing, isolating of suspected or symptomatic cases for 14 days. Furthermore, we engaged in random sampling and testing of the population. The favorable epidemiological data and guidance from scientific experts has led to the phased plan of gradual lifting of restrictions in four phases starting from 4th of May and finishing the end of July. We plan with a sense of guarded optimism, keeping in mind that COVID-19 is a new, highly transmitted infection in a population with low immunity and as, as yet no cure or vaccine available. We are proud of what we have achieved so far in containing the, containing the pandemic. We salute the heroic professionalism of our healthcare professionals and workers of the front line, we mourn the loss of lives of our citizens. However, we must unite as a global force in unity and solidarity through science, compassion and justice and solidarity so we can defeat the enemy. Distinguished fellow citizens of the globe, COVID-19 has turned our world upside down. We have won a battle but not the war. Thank you.